Log recording at 7.39 in the morning Pacific Standard Time, Sunday on June 11th, 2023. Well, apparently Mother Nature has just blown, well, has made sure that uh, Kilauea is going nuts again in the crater. So now the news organizations are having a field day over it. The USGS has been tracking it for a long while now. And... They notice that there's a lot of cracks in the Kilauea caldera. Halemenua crater, I think they called it. It's a lot of geologic activity. It's a lot of uh, bubbling. Now, if it's going to be starting up with a lava flow, that's a different story altogether, but if it is going to be starting up with a lava flow, we need to keep track of that. And to me, it's important. Because we're talking about live, we're talking about lava ready to pour out in a second's notice. I'll keep it on the news and, and keep it on USGS on the, one of the YouTube channels because I want to see what the hell's going on. I know they're going to be talking about politics. Politics has to be important, but for me, I want to see if there's going to be any more lava flows going down the slopes of kill away on the main island of Hawaii and this is on the main island this is not on the yeah that's what I thought and we had the eruptions going off like crazy blasting things up but yeah this is on the main this isn't on in the caldera They've got Caldera active at this point over here. If they've been experiencing multiple quakes on the island and also in the giant, then they would also notice that there's a lot of um, activity. Of course, their cameras over at USGS doesn't have sound effects. just has the visualizations. I remember that there was, what is it, back in the Grecian Islands or... Uh, somewhere in the Mediterranean that there was a volcano going off and they were showing this. They were showing the, how it was affecting towns and how it was affecting people. It was a, an island out in the Med, uh, Mediterranean. You could see this stuff and be fascinated by it, but I'm understanding that this is dangerous stuff. We're talking about molten earth. We're talking about superheated rock. And at certain temperatures, it becomes a worse nightmare. Physically, rocks are just there. Unless you start throwing it at people, and they become weapons. And rocks are the building, rocks are the crust, rocks are the earth, rocks are rocks. Well, it's geology at work. And it's just mesmerizing watching this stuff on YouTube. Veins of it and the caldera cracking open. And certain portions of it where the rock is bubbling out, or the heat's expanding and, and escaping. You're seeing parts of it's being spewed out in the caldera. It's just mesmerizing. We're lucky we don't have that situation out here in the West Coast. I don't think we'd be able to deal with this kind of crap. I don't know how they do it in the islands. They do call it a volcanic hotspot. It is a volcanic hotspot, basically. And the cameras are shifting, again, in different positions. of trying to capture anything and everything they can.
I took geology a long time ago because I wanted to understand how the earth worked and how to get past my fear of shaking from underneath the uh, unexpected shaking, especially when the earth was moving. Oh, and USGS is having issues with their cameras again because now we got. <coughs> blackness and so I lost a signal well barely lost a signal anyway whoa okay refocusing here we go back into caldera again it's just when the ooze starts when it starts oozing out the initial wave of the lava going downhill Sometimes you think you have time, but in reality, you don't. There's no way of stopping tons and tons of molten, fiery earth coming down right at you. And it looks like the caldera sprang a leak. They got one particular camera shot where you've got a foot sticking out of the damn caldera. Looks like it's creeping a bit. But it's cracked all over the caldera on the bottom of it. It's like it's multiple cracks. And the weirdest patterns that look so eerie. And you see the fiery plumes emanating smoke. The steam from the earth mixed in with gases down below. Flooding the uh, flooding the area area with a lot of heat and plumes and stuff. It's so damn weird. You gotta love it. You gotta love geology. Oh, to a point, yeah. It's you know, people can try to make fun of this damn thing, but not me. See it from a distance, it's one thing. But when you're watching it, there are different cameras, different uh, shots of Kilauea at different times. Right now, they got a current shot of USGS on one particular website. What I'm also wondering. What's this damn thing going to look like when it really blows? You just go on YouTube, go on in live, and you would see... You would see how this would be. And oh my God. It's terrifying. It's ethereal. It's breathtaking. And once it reach, gets it the hell out of the cauldron, it's going to be dangerous as hell. And looking at all this, it's... Terrifying. So I'm going to keep a YouTube channel just watching it because I think I find it so riveting and so terrifying at this point that I don't think anything else is going to match it. I don't think Donald Trump is going to match this damn thing. There's no way. I mean, this is real. This is a reality check here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I used to be afraid of ground shaking. I still am. I'm, I'm, I don't like it. I like it when it's coming up at me so I can react differently to it. But this is just... It's... The cracks are on the surface and on along the caldera. It looks like it's slow creep by the way the 
lines are going away from certain areas. It's either going to be flowing to a central area or spreading out, however you look at this thing. And in between them, you got these fiery plumes just bubbling and oozing, and, and it's just, just coming out of the ears here in different chunks. A way of relieving Earth and its pressure in that certain hot spot zone. It's just heavily. Uh, uh, it's. Okay, <laughs> yeah. It's 4.49 in the morning on Hawaiian time. Still dark out there. I mean, hell, we've already had light for about an hour and a half or two out here, so. So I'll take him another short time for them to get light and people be able to see this but at night time oh I gotta get some screenshots for this stuff this is 